Let's briefly go through editing a property. Go ahead and log into your account, go to your dashboard, find the property that you wish to edit, and click on Edit Property. Your first screen, once you go to Edit Property, gives you some quick things that you can do, uh, including changing the status of your property. It gives you some site-specific information, such as how many hits are you receiving, where are the hits coming from as far as different websites, as well as what cities people are in that are looking at your properties. That helps give you an idea of how well your marketing campaigns are doing and what sort of far-reaching reach those have. For this conversation, we're going to click on Site Data. Once on Site Data, you have the spot where you can put in your MLS information. You can put uh, your pricing so that way uh, that matches up with MLS. It's very easy, of course, to update it here. Uh, that will update all of your flyers, uh, virtual tours, and so forth once you make any changes. If you have any special marketing that you want to draw attention to, such as an open house or back in the market, coming soon, what have you, uh, there's quite a number of choices here as well. And then you can put in whenever that marketing plan's expiration will take place. That puts a banner on your different marketing materials and virtual tour. The property location, of course, is here. So if, uh, if you've discovered that you needed to add in or change something on the property address, you can do so on the property location. Uh, bedrooms, bathroom, garage spaces, square footage, your built, all that information is there. We provide school website information and local demographics. Uh, you can customize these sites as well if you would like. The property description is much like what you would put into your MLS. And then you can also go ahead and put in keywords for search engines as well on this screen. So that's a quick look at your property site data.